This is a red camera. Red cameras have been taking Hollywood by storm by filming TV shows and movies like Stranger Things, Prometheus, The Social Network, Great Gatsby, Straight Outta Compton, Gone Girl, The Martian, Mr. Robot, The Punisher, Daredevil, and seriously a whole bunch more, but I'm uh, still like halfway through scrolling through this, so let's just let's just move on. One of my personal favorite cameras to shoot on if I'm kind of going for a rugged, grittier, darker look. And I also love how small it is considering its capabilities. Well, See, nice and small. Specifically, this is the Red Scarlet W, which has a 5K Dragon sensor. So it's actually one of their lower to mid range cameras, but even still, one of these memory cards can cost up to three of these. And of course, this is the iPhone X. I mean, the uh, uh, the 10. Sorry, dude, I didn't realize we were going Roman numerals all of a sudden. By the way, I'm giving away my iPhone to one of you guys. So details at the end. Not this one though. This was my baby. What are you talking about? I mean, my older iPhone 7 Plus. I love you guys, but not that much, like a like a least favorite child. I went out and tested these cameras with these mounted side by side. Here's a sequence from one of these two cameras. Let's see if you can tell which one it is. Here's the same exact sequence from the other camera. If you know which one's which, let me know in the comments which shot gave it away. And the answer is, first time around was the iPhone 10, second time around was the red. So I don't know about you, but wow, I was impressed with the iPhone 10. There were some shots where I honestly thought the iPhone 10 looked better. Apple really works some magic with this one. I honestly don't know how they got the sunrise sky to pop so much. I'm assuming it's some sort of HDR processing or polarizer, but this is unedited out of both cameras. So wow, straight out of the camera, I have to hand it to the iPhone. Now in Red's defense, there image is more true and unfiltered. Keep in mind when you're color correcting and editing an image, it's a lot easier to apply a filter, but it's really hard to remove it. Just like if you're preparing a soup, you know, if it's bland, it's really easy to add some salt, but once you add too much salt in there, your life is over. So in other words, the iPhone is pre-flavored. Red takes a little bit more work, but if you precisely put in just the right seasoning, it is the most bomb soup you will ever have in your life. With the iPhone in this shot, the sky is gone. You can't color grade it and bring it back because there's just no information there but with the Red's raw capabilities, you can see that there's information everywhere. In addition, since it's raw, you can go back and change settings after you shot it. So let's say I'm filming the Golden Gate Bridge and I'm like, oh, this would look awesome with a blue white balance and a little bit dark. But then the client says, oh, this looks terrible. And they completely change the shot and stomp all over your artistic vision. <laughs> of course, that's just a hypothetical example. That doesn't happen all the time. Of course, lenses paint half the picture. So when you wanna start zooming in or doing effects with the lens, like shallow dip of field, you have endless options with the red. When it comes to low light, the iPhone quickly falls apart, but there's no surprise there. But technical specs aside, the best part of red cameras are its image characteristics. I think it's a combination of everything. It's a little bit from the sensor, the color science, the processor, but they just all come together for the cinematic look, which can't really be put on a spec sheet. This is my mom, by the way. She's totally cool with being in this video. I'm gonna put this on the internet, okay? Thousands of people are gonna see no. this. Should have thought about that before putting me on this planet, mom. So what do we learn from this? The iPhone is an excellent camera, but not as good as the camera that costs as much as my Jeep. Uh, what a surprise. So most of you don't have access to a red camera, but you still wanna take pretty video. Honestly, don't let the lack of gear discourage you. If you have the right creative vision and idea, it's gonna be a good video, no matter what you shoot it on, unless it's an Android. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I hear they're actually like really good. Trust me, I have no Apple bias. Ah.
Now, if you are trying to up your iPhoneography game, here's a few things I realized while we were shooting these tests. Don't zoom this camera in, stay at a wide shot and use this camera, not this camera. If you're shooting vlogs, you can get a wide angle adapter because this is kind of in your face. On the red camera, I love lens flares. I take advantage of every lens flare I can get. But on the iPhone, uh, it just dulls everything out and just doesn't look good. I guess. But if you wait a few minutes after sunset, you'll have about 50 minutes of milky glowing skies. And as we've seen, the iPhone does really well in that lighting. There's also apps like Filmic Pro, which gives you manual control over the camera and also a log color profile, which basically means the soup is slightly less flavored. But of course that means you're gonna have to do a little bit of your own color grading. And also one of these iPhone tripod adapters, which makes a huge difference. Never underestimate a locked off image. So some details for this iPhone 7 Plus giveaway. This iPhone and I have gone through a lot together. There's some sentimental value. So I don't want to trade it in and let it go to some. I would rather have one of you have it and treat it as terribly as I did. All you got to do to enter is be a subscriber with that bell notification thingy on. Leave a comment down below on this video and follow me on Instagram. And there you go. We're going to randomly select someone and send this out to just in time for Christmas. And also thanks to all my friends for helping me shoot this video. I usually just go up to them, shove a giant camera in their face and say, act natural. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it completely fails but for sure go check them out they're all doing awesome stuff i also wish i could plug my mom on here but she has no idea what instagram is so eh, maybe one day say no just say it <laughs> no just say it hashtag no makeup yeah but say it with more attitude no just say it with